everybody, my name is T-Tester, also known as Tommy, and today I am showing you how to make this puzzle box. It's very easy to make, super easy, and I will be posting how to solve it soon. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to need a 6x6, six six, but then just gonna fill up the entire just make one full layer except for this this is um all flat this part as you can see there so now you're just gonna take a um a two by six and just gonna put it right there And then take a 2x2, two two, place it right there. Then a 1x2, place it right there. And they're both flat. And then you're going to... Oops. Then you're going to take a 2x3 and place it right there. Same for the other side. Right there. So now you're going to take a 2x3, orange this time, put it right on that side again, and then put this 2x3 right there, then take another 2x3, place it on that side, then one more, and place it on the other side. So then you should have something like this. Next, we are going to be taking a 1x2 purple, placing it right there. And then taking another one, placing it right there. Then same for the other side. Okay, so now you are going to be taking a one by two, any color you want, it does not have to be red, placing it right there. But on the other side, you're gonna take a one by four and place it right there. And this can be any color too. So after you have placed this 1x4 right there, you are going to take a 1x2 and place it right there. Another 1x2, place it right there. And then you are going to take a one more 1x2, and then yet again another one, place it right there. And then this part, is a little weird. You are going to take a 2x4 right there. A 2x4, place a 1x1 right there. A 1x1 right there that's flat. And then a 1x2 vent piece. So make something like this and place it down right there. And then you should have something like that. Then you're going to take a 2x3, place it right there. Then a 2x2, um, two two, place it right there. Then take two 2x4s two that are red, place them right there, and right there. So now you should have something like this. Okay, so after that, you are going to take a 2x4, I mean a 2x6 that is tan, and placing it right in there. Now this piece is really weird, but you should need it. And it is a, um, like a slant piece, sort of. Now you're going to place that right there. 
so like that. And then you are going to take a 2x3 tan again, placing it right there. So then you should have that. And on to the next layer. So this layer, you're going to make something that looks like this. So it is a one by, you know what, you could put two two by fours on both sides, but I don't have two two by fours. So I'm just gonna use two two by twos. So do something like this with a gray tan piece on top. I mean a gray, a dark gray piece. Then it does not matter which color that piece is, but I'm just using yellow. Then place that right there. And then I have this. So then you can just place that. So then you have something like that. But then you're going to take a 2x6 and placing it right at the back. So now you should have something that looks like, like this. Okay, so now take a another 2x4 that is dark gray. Placing it right on the back. And then take two two by two two by threes and placing them on both sides right there and right there so then you have something like this and then you are going to take a one by six I'm um, a, a two by six placing it right there so then it's covering this little hole then take a one by two I mean a one by six I keep on mixing these up a one by six and placing it right behind it so then you have something like that don't mind that and then you're gonna have a another two by six and placing it right on the back so now you should have something like that. I'm just gonna put it like this for now. No, never mind. And then, then take a two by six, and placing it right on the back. In this instance, I'm using a two by four and a two by two. So make it a two by six right along the back. And then this part, you're going to use some weird pieces. So on the right side, you're going to use this piece. So then you have something like that. And then you're going to attach it to a one by four. Placing it right there. Take a another one of these pieces and putting it right there. And then take random a random piece and just put it right there. Then the next side you can just do, like fill it up randomly. Okay, so now you're just gonna fill the next layer up with yellow like just make it flat any way you can so I'm just gonna do this so I put this piece right in the center it's random so I just put that there and then same for the next layer which is orange Okay, so after you have done that, it doesn't matter that center piece at all, then you're just going to do the same thing for the next side, but the next side is purple. Okay, so 
it does not matter if you fell in that part because the next part you're going to um, you're going to take a so now you're going to need a, another 6x6 six six, and then put on a 2x1 that's tan, a 1x1 one one that's tan on the other side, a random tile piece, and then a 1x1 one one with a stud on it. So then you're going to put that right there. And it's lined up with all those holes. Just like that. So then you're going to put a 1x2 that is gray with no studs on top and put it right there. And if you don't know, these newer pieces are able to slide back and forth. So yeah. And then you are going to take a 2 by 6 that's tan, just like that, and place it right there. Then you should have something like that. Okay, so now we're going to use another one of these weird pieces and put a 1 by 2 and we'll just make sure that it fills up these, the outer layer like that. So just take your time and make this and just place it right in there. And then, so take this, it's a random piece with a 1x1 one one on it. And the random piece is a 2x2. Two two. Now you're going to place that right there so that you don't see it. But then you're going to take one of these pieces, it's like sideways or something, and then put this on it. So one by one, a two by two, and another two, two by two, all tan. Place it right on the outside, right there. And now, take a one, uh, now just take a four by, I mean a two by six or just use any pieces to fill this in. Like that. So then you should have something like that. And then just fill up the top like with dark gray. So use all dark gray on the top. Okay, so as you did that, you just need to um, top it off with a gray layer. And now we just need to make the pieces that you use. So the first piece that you take out is a 1x6 that is orange and um, flat and then a 1x6 yellow that you attach to the bottom. In this case I just used a 1x2 and a 1x4. So that's one piece. The next piece, this is only one piece that you need. It's just a one by four. And then you're going to take a, a one by four, that's blue, with, with a one by one that's white attached to the bottom. Or you could use a one by two or a one by three. So that's one piece, that's another piece. And the last piece is this. So the bottom is a two by three. That is orange. And then next, you just need to put a purple one by two right there. A flat piece right there. And then a yellow or any type of pieces on these two. And then next, I'm just going to put a slope right there. You need this. You need it. Then you are going to use a 1x2 that's red, a 1x2 that's tan, and a 1x2 that's light gray. And then on top of all those, you're going to use a 1x2 that is dark gray and it has no studs on top. 
I'm just going to place it right on top of that piece. So, to put all these pieces in, so this, the biggest piece, goes in there. And it matches up. This piece goes right there. This gray piece goes all the way at the top. I think it's in this one. Yeah, right there. And then this piece goes all the way at the bottom. Right in there. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Check out my other video on how to solve it. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Peace.